All right, the first thing we need to do to create a great song is to come up with a really good beat. Okay, so we need to lay down a drum track there so we have something. Also, the beat will help us keep time with the rest of the song. So it's going to be really good to, to start with that first. So let's go ahead and get into the loops that we can select from to make our song. So we have some different choices up here, but you see one that actually looks like a loop. That's where we're going to find the loops for our song. So I'm going to tap on the loop button here. And we have different choices. We can go to music or audio files, but make sure it's on Apple Loops. That's where we need to be is Apple Loops. And then let's go ahead and select what we want for our drums. So most times I need to click on this button right here. I need to tap on reset keyword so that everything shows up again. Sometimes people before you have selected certain uh, instruments and things and you might not see other instruments. So just tap on reset keywords to get everything back. And then let's tap on instruments and tell it that we want to do all drums. Okay, so now we have all the different drum tracks in here. And if we want to listen to one, you can just tap on the blue little icon. And that allows us to hear what's going on here. Uh, let's just do another one here. Just, just go ahead and, and you tap it again to stop it. Go ahead and try two or three. Just so you can get an idea how to listen to the loops. The one we're looking for right now is down tempo bounce beat one. So I'm going to go down. They're alphabetical. So let me go down here to down tempo bounce beat one. Here it is right here. I'm going to tap on it. See, we're doing, a we're doing a dance track, and that certainly sounds more dance-ish than anything else on here. So I like that one. So I'm going to watch how I put this onto my uh, uh, garage band to make a song. I'm going to just tap and hold on it. I'm going to drag it, and now I've got a hold of it. I'm going to put it all the way to the beginning, and now we have our loop of our, of our drums into our song. So we can play it. And you see the playhead moving along here. Okay, now the thing we have to be aware of is that if we were just to play the same instruments or the same sound throughout the entire 60 second song, it would get quite boring. So we have to add variety to our song. So we want to make it sound, you know, have different parts to it that sound like different um, sections of a song. So I want to really do this part of the song and break it up into different sections. So watch how I do that. I like to really just follow sections of four measures for each little section. And sometimes I double that, like I'll do four and then eight. And I'm going to do it with this song here. Watch how I do this to show you how this loop is showing up on my track viewer here. So I'm going to just tap on it to highlight it. Now I can see there's a white line around it. Sometimes it's a yellow line. Okay, I'm just going to grab it at this back edge here and then bring it uh, closer to the beginning here. So let me just go ahead and grab that edge. There we go. And I'm going to take it just so I have four measures of it. So you can see that it's, it's two sections of this loop and you can see that I stop when it says measure five. That's the start of measure five. So I have only two, uh, sorry, four measures of this little drum beat. So I want it there and then watch what I do. I tap on it and I tell it, oh yeah, I want to copy this. So I tap on it, I click on copy and then I move my playhead, this little triangle, upside down triangle. I move my playhead to, to measure 13 here. So let me just go over to where the start of measure 13 is. Right there. So I'm on measure 13 and I can tap on that track. Let me tap on it and I can select paste. So now I've got my drum beat there. I skip eight measures and then I've got my drum beat there. And then I can skip like another four measures. So let me go to, to track 17 here. Where's the start? Oh no. Start of track 21. There we go. Start of track 21. Tap on that and paste it again. And then you notice this last one is not long enough to finish our song, so I'm just going to tap on it again, and I'm going to put my finger on that little looping icon, that little tiny loop that you see at the end of it. I'm going to put my finger on it, and I can stretch it out so it goes all the way to the end of the song. Okay, so you should have a section here, a section here, and a section here. So what we're going to do is we have our drum beat, then we skip eight measures, and then we do four measures of our drum beat again, or four bars of our drum beat. We skip four bars, and then we do the remaining of the song with this uh, drum beat that we've selected.